Good morning. Good to see you today. I want to talk to you a little bit about a guy in the Bible that Jesus met. And let me read to you in Romans, Matthew chapter 8 and uh, verse, verse 5. And when Jesus was entered into Capernaum, there came unto him a centurion beseeching him and saying, Lord, my servant lieth at home, sick of the palsy, grievously tormented. And Jesus said unto him, I will come and heal him. But the centurion answered and said, Lord, I'm not worthy that thou should come under my roof. And I think the reason was because he heard the crowd say, Ooh, he's going to go to the centurion's house. Oh, my goodness. It's the end of the world, you know. And uh, and so he said, But speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. For I am a man under authority, and I have soldiers under me. And I say to this man, Go, and he goes. And to my servant, Do this, and he does it. And to my servant, Come, and he comes. And uh, when Jesus heard this, in verse 10, it says, when Jesus heard it, he marveled, and he said to them that followed, Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. Now, you know what? Have you ever thought about causing Jesus to marvel at your faith? That's what this centurion did. He was a centurion. He was dressed up in the garb of a centurion. That's why we know he was a centurion. And... uh <laughs> He said, you know, when he heard the crowd respond to, because they were following him from the Sermon on the Mount, and he was entered into Capernaum, he had a bunch of people who were still following him. He said, I have not found a faith like this in Israel. And he was saying that, and the, the, in, right in the front of the pack was the disciples. So he was saying basically, even you guys don't have the faith that this centurion, because he's just saying, speak the word and it'll be done. Let me tell you something. Jesus said, peace be still. And the waves and the wind obeyed his command. We just sang about that in the choir. And um, let me tell you, when he speaks his word, it's done. So we have to trust in what his word says. He said, and many will come. He went on to say, many will come from the east and the west. He just thought, well, I'll just put this in for no extra charge. He said, many will come from the east and the west and will sit down at the table with Abraham and Isaac. And uh, <laughs> you know, that's, that right there frosted them, man. If you, if you said to a Jewish person of the day, of the, that culture, if you said uh, that you can sit and eat with a centurion, I don't think so. He said, many will come from the east and the west. That meant Gentiles will come from the east and the west and will sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob at the table. He was talking about the kingdom of heaven. Well, it, it was defilement for him to go into that centurion's house. It would be defilement because he was called. He had just taught the Sermon on the Mount. It was, it was not accepted. He was he was not an accepted person. That's the reason they crucified him, and he, and he rose again. And I believe that with all of my heart. But this centurion had great faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. I he marvelled. He caused him to marvel, and he said to them that followed, "I have not found this kind of faith anywhere in Israel." Man, I'm gonna tell you something. It was fantastic faith. To believe to say, just speak the word. You don't have to come and heal. And here's the thing. As it goes on to say, and his servant was healed in that self same hour. Exactly when Jesus said that your servant will be healed. He said, go, go your way. Your servant is fine and, and everything will be fine. And his servant was healed in a self same hour. In other words, Jesus said, go your way. Well, that's what he's saying to me and to you. Go your way. Do what I've created you to do. And, uh, man, I appreciated, uh, uh, Dan's sermon Sunday. Uh, as he preached as Pastor Rob was not there. But, uh, 
Uh, it was so good in, in saying that, you know what, we realize that we're going to have some problems in life, and uh, but we need to trust in the Lord's word and believe that he's called us and that he's doing good things in our life. Ladies and gentlemen, Jesus Christ loves you. He has died for you. He rose again. And he's living for you in the, in the kingdom of heaven. And he's coming again. And he's going to take us to where he is. He said, if you are, if you believe in me and you trust in me, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there you may be also. Let me tell you something. The Lord Jesus Christ is coming back. And ain't nobody going to stop him. Nothing's going to happen that's going to deter or anything that what God, I mean, you, you talk about Iran bombing Israel and all this stuff. It, it doesn't matter to the Lord. He's going to come back exactly when he wants to, exactly like he said he was going to do it. His kingdom is come and his will will be done no matter what. It's going to be done. You either get in, get out, or get run over. Because let me tell you something, God's will is going to be done on this planet. And you can be a part of it if you want to be. If you, you need to trust his word, speak the word, the centurion said. And it will be done. And you know what? It was done. He said, "You, your faith has healed that servant. Go home and, and know that he's being healed. And he was healed, the Bible says, in that exactly when Jesus said, go your way, and as you have believed, so shall it be done unto you. Well, as you believe, so shall it be done unto you today. And so I'm going to believe and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you today and make you a blessing.